Welcome back everyone, I'm Zoblad. Today, let's play some more Factorio. So, in the last episode, we set up some basic resource harvesting. Harvesting iron and copper ore, coal, and we're going to get some stone harvesting pretty soon here. We set up a basic factory using iron plates and copper plates, converting that into research and we have a small lab set up here. So today we're going to continue and we're probably going to change this setup around a little bit um, but we're going to continue producing copper and iron plates and we're going to keep moving forward. So um, I hope you enjoy, sit back, relax and let's go. And the first thing I'm going to do is start another research project and we are going to get steel processing. So I came up with a pretty cool build um, for a factory to produce the basic resources. I was playing a little bit in the off time. So I think what we're gonna do today is set up a factory that'll produce copper cables, iron sticks, iron gear wheels, and electronic circuits. But the first thing I wanna do is expand this factory. So, right now we need more furnaces. And for that I'm going to need some more stone. And as soon as we're at it, I might as well just start constructing some mining drills and getting some stone mining going. So, okay, so I set up a little automated station to gather uh, raw stone here so we can build some more furnaces. We built some more furnaces and now we are going to expand this uh, this iron plate factory here so in order to do that we're going to need to remove some portions so let's clear this out because we're going to keep these furnaces all on the line and we'll expand them out so we're starting to build some fast inserters, so let's get these in position. And as you can see, they are much faster at moving resources. Hopefully this is picking up some of the music to this. I really like the music in this game. Um, I think that's one of the things that comes across very poorly on uh, YouTube is this game has uh, a great ambience to it. It's a little bit unnerving. It's kind of creepy. Uh, and uh, once the aliens start attacking later on that like it makes it very effective. Um, but for some reason the just the audio doesn't translate as well across to YouTube and uh, it makes it sort of it just seems like there's not any background music, which I think is unfortunate. Okay, good. So we expanded this little factory. We're now producing twice the iron plates, which is excellent. And now we're going to do the same to this copper plant here, which is going to require moving all this shit around. So I will be back in just a moment when that's done. I really should research uh, optics so we can get some lights in here so it's not so dark at nighttime. Okay, so we've changed around our raw resource production a little bit just to make things a little bit more tidy. Um, I moved a splitter back down right to the end of the copper, so now we've got a 50% stream, or a, of coal rather. <laughs> moved the uh, splitter down back to the uh, base where the coal starts, so now we've got a 50% stream that's transferring into our factory. So we've got 25% going into the iron plates, 25% going into the copper plates, and 50% is going into energy production here. Now we need to get um, this stone set up to be processed as well. So that needs to happen up here also. So I need to build, see, six more furnaces. We're also gonna need one for steel. And that one's going to be a little bit more complicated. I'll show you what that looks like in a second. This game is a lot of uh, rearranging and redoing work you've done. This was a, a good little initial idea to get some research going, but now it needs to be redone. 
the same idea as before. I'm going to set up this factory part as a modular piece before we put any resources into it. So it doesn't get out of hand. We don't have uh, resource generation too quickly. That's one of, been one of the major problems of this game for me is uh, getting too many resources too fast. Um, right now what I'm doing is I'm just kind of roughing out the space to see sort of how I'm going to occupy this place with the factory. This may look a little bit different um, than the other things I built. That's because this part of our raw resources is going to produce steel. And producing steel is a two-step process. We need to first create iron plates and then re-smelt those iron plates to create steel plates. So. What happens is we're going to have iron ore and coal going in here, which is going to be inserted into this first stone furnace. Then there's going to be a filter sorter in right here, but we don't have those yet. What those are going to do is then filter out uh, coal to put into this stone furnace to smelt the iron plates that come out of here. So, um, yeah, that's the plan. And we're not going to see that quite yet, uh, but I just roughed out the area where it will go. Okay, let's get all this wired up. Okay, let's see. I think I think have things set up the way I want them. Uh, so we're gonna have iron ore coming in here to make steel, and it's gonna go up here and make iron plates. We're gonna have stone coming in here instead of copper, and then we're gonna have copper at the top here. And this is going to be where all of our um, where all of our coal comes off. And it seems to be connecting properly. Good. And let's get the copper hooked up. All right, so I'm gonna craft some lights here so we can illuminate this place a little bit. But I finished the basic factory. This is our basic resource processing plant. And uh, as you can see, it is quite extensive. So, oh, I forgot to connect those belts. <laughs> Let's get these copper belts attached, or these uh, coal belts attached. I have some lights and we're going to illuminate this place a little bit so we can see what's going on a little better in our factory. And of course it's becoming daytime as soon as we do that. So now that we have our raw resource production in gear, we have steel, iron, and copper plates, we're going to build a facility to create intermediate resources, copper cable, iron sticks, iron gear wheels, and electronic circuits. So um, we need to set that up. We are going to need for all of these just copper and iron plates. So we're going to separate two of these streams and direct them up. So let's get some splitters set up. Build one here for the copper and one right here for the iron plates. So I didn't give myself enough space and I'm having to rearrange things and oh boy it is a pain in the butt. So if that's set there, that needs to come out and go off like that. This is what I should have done first thing. It's figuring out where my resource lines are going to go. Good. Now that can be combined Okay, so after a slight snafu, we're just getting things reset up so that our resource lines are where we want them. And then we'll have the factory finished. Gosh, I don't know what this episode's going to be like. It's so, like, back and forth on what I've done and what I need to be doing. Iron sticks. This will produce iron sticks. Produce gear wheels. That'll produce gear wheels. Excellent. Okay, so this is the fundamentals for our basic assembly plant. We're producing all of the intermediate resources you see here, and then we also have two lines of iron plates and copper plates coming off as well because 
those are used in the production of underground belts and splitters and these sorts of things. And these are the things that we are going to build soon. Hmm. Our um, resources don't seem to be coming in. Oh, I guess we are getting copper plates. Why are we getting copper so slowly? So they are working. I think, yeah, there's just a huge power load right now. Um, so what we need to do is build more pumps and boilers to handle our increasing power needs. Well, we've got another steam engine we can set up. Let's do that, and hopefully this will solve our power issues. Let's see, we should see an increase in... These look like they're moving a little bit faster. Okay. So now it looks like we need more... Ore is still coming in a little bit slowly. So let's get some more ore production. Okay, so we've doubled our iron production. And then I think we're going to get basic research set back up again. Call it an episode. Do we need to set up research again? I'm going to create a small space to do that down here. And again, it's just going to be an interim space um, that I'm going to use right now, and I'll probably move it around again. But I need to get that going again. So we're going to clear out some woods here, and I'll be right back when that's done. Science is just going to be put straight into the labs after it's created. So we can situate the labs like that, and then I'm going to build oh, what, a few of these. Okay, let's think about this. Because our basic research is made from copper gears and iron gear wheels, or copper plates and iron gear wheels. So if we have one of these, it's going to need to put copper plates and iron gear wheels into that. So, okay, two, three, and then lab setup. Here, here. Now, when you thought you gave yourself enough space, but you didn't. Oh boy, this is becoming laborious. So, set that up like so. And then, this should work. We'll set this up to reduce gears. We'll set this up to reduce basic research. And then the basic research should be just passed directly into the lab right there. Please. It is producing it. Okay, that's good. Cool. All right. So in this episode, we set up again a basic research facility, which will probably be moved in subsequent episodes. But for now, it's uh, getting electronic research, so that's really good. We sort of set this um, basic raw resource production plant up a little bit better. Things are still kind of jammed really close together, which I'm not super happy about, but whatever. And then we also set up an assembly plant, which has one, two, three, four, five, six lines coming off of it of intermediate and raw resources. And that's going to be really useful for getting stuff in the next episode. We also created these little boxes down here that'll allow us to just, if we ever need an, an item, just go and pick it up out of the box. All right, and, oh, excellent. We have electronics researched. So automation number two is gonna be the next thing. That's gonna allow us assembly machines too. And with that, we will be able to create items that require up to four materials. So that will help us expand our base a lot faster. But we're going to check that out in the next episode because I'm running really low on time. Also, probably in the next episode, I'm just going to expand this out and create a massive farm to gather all of these resources here, all of this stone, all of this coal. I want to make sure that we have enough raw resources coming into our factory that we're never really going to have to worry about the output. 
that will probably mean that we move this um, basic research factory again. But again, just for now, we have it set up so something is working on what we need it to be. Okay, so it doesn't feel like I did a whole lot in this episode to me. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you again so much for watching. Um, stay tuned for episode three and more Factorio. So like, share, subscribe. Have a good day. Have a good night. I will see you in the next one.